Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are here to talk today about some foot birthday leaks, right? A lot of stuff in this promo has been leaked before and it's actually been coming true. And you guys are probably wondering why you're seeing some random players show up on the Footbin popular page or why you're seeing stuff on Twitter about certain cards that are supposed to be getting SBCs. And it is basically leaked at least the past few days, people have known what SBCs that we're going to be getting for at least the Mangala and the Vidal and for what we're, is upcoming right now with these foot birthday themed SBCs for, you know, the different years of FIFA Ultimate Team. It, we supposedly know what we are getting. Now, of course, these are leaks, and so far they've been correct. So that's why we're putting a lot of hype on these. That's why we're really starting to believe a lot of these leaks. But a big time leak dropped yesterday. People actually got news for the SBCs that would be past FIFA 16. So big SBCs that could be coming this weekend. And even though I don't like talking about leaks, honestly, that it's a big part of what is going on in the market right now. So I need to talk about this to keep you involved, to keep you, you in the loop and informed. So let's talk about the next three SBCs, at least that we see here. And then two other ones that could be coming after, right? We had the Mangala yesterday, which in my opinion is probably the, um, probably the least best value or the worst value foot birthday player SBC card that we have gotten. I mean, the card could have been pretty good. They just needed to boost the pace a bit more. Uh, he has great links. The price point isn't that terrible. They boosted his skills up one from a two star and his weak foot up to a five star. Uh, but I really think they just needed to give this guy some more pace, make him 85 pace. That makes his accelerate acceleration up to 80. And that would make a lot more people potentially interested in this card, maybe boost the defending a little bit more as well. But the agility balance looks decent, right? He has the high and stocky body type, which I don't know how that affects a center back, but uh, he's got medium high work rate, which is good. Uh, I just think that the the stats in this card, it wasn't as hyped as a lot of people want it to be. As you can see, 4,000 downvotes, but a decent amount of people upvoted as well, 1,400. So still an okay card, but not what exactly what we're looking for. So of course, on the screen here, we have got the uh, the 14, FIFA 14 with the Borussia Dortmund badge as a hint, left wing in FIFA 15, and center attack in mid and French as our new hint for FIFA 16. So there are some people that have quote unquote leaks out there. These are the same guys that have had leaks uh, about the team that was in PAX. Remember we talked about the whole entire foot birthday team that is in PAX now was leaked two days beforehand. The leak was correct. People had the Palacio leak. People had Vidal and Mangala leaks and those have been correct so far. That's why we're feeling pretty good about these cards right here. So supposedly the top three right here are the next three SBCs. I'm going to hide my face cam for a second so you can see it. We've got Royce that is potentially coming today. We've got Dravinho that would be coming on Thursday, Payet on Friday, but this is the one that everybody is going bananas about. The potential Renato Sanchez FIFA 17 foot birthday SBC card. Now, these are the leaks that have come out as of yesterday uh, along Twitter, right? A lot of Twitter leaks have come out. Now, I'd be a little skeptical about these too, and obviously today on Wednesday when they update the actual hint screen, we maybe will be able to figure out what that next player is going to be, if it is Renato Sanchez or if it's not. But I really feel strongly about Royce being today, uh, unless EA changes some of these last minute, uh, because obviously they're probably going to see that, you know, people are tweeting out leaks and having leaks and they've been spot on so far, right? So these are the potential cards. It's these players is the leak, right? But the potential positions and the stats are obviously just a prediction, but it's supposed to be Royce today from FIFA 13, Gervinho, sorry, from 14, Gervinho Gervinho from FIFA 15 and Payette from FUT 16. Those are the next three that are shown, of course, here on the screen. But that Renato Sanchez would be the one that would be an insane, insane SBC. You've already started to see people panic sell their items. Renato Sanchez in form and his UCL live car, which is no longer live, right? His UCL road to the final, or Europa, Europa League, Europa League road to the final card. Uh, is down a lot. This guy was like 450k this morning. He's now down to 408. Uh, and this is purely based off of leaks, right? Again, this is nothing that is confirmed. But if you're somebody who did the Vidal SBC, if you're hearing about this right now, you're kind of like, hold up, I just did this Vidal SBC, those 500,000 coins. And now you're telling me that it, it uh, that we might be getting a Renato Sanchez car, which is going to look even more cracked than uh, 
than, the, than this Vidal card. So that's the interesting thing right now is that a lot of people, and you can see that I have one of these Geo Reynas, I got one for cheap today. I feel like the hype is gonna rise as we do get closer to that potential uh, Royce coming out today. And Royce is a big name player, right? So that SBC could be a big one today. And it also links in with a lot of the German links that people have been doing recently, right? With, of course, the Podolski, with the Ozil, with the Bender Bros, with Balak and stuff like that. That would be more German links if it is Royce that comes out today. So first things first, right? We've seen this panic selling and you're seeing a lot of these cards that are quote unquote leaked are on like the most popular page on Footbin. So if you're wondering why Renato Sanchez is up here, why Marco Royce is up here, why Mangala's silver card was up here yesterday, uh, that is the reason why you're seeing those cards on the most popular page because people are looking at them, kind of watching their prices uh, because people that use Royce probably are like, yo, I'm going to go sell my rule breaker version or sell my road to the final Sanchez in order for me to get ready for that potential SBC that could be coming. So again, just to preface, these are not 100% guaranteed to happen leaks. They are just um, pretty, you know, they've been right so far. So we're taking them with a grain of salt and we're moving forward with the potential that they could be those cards today. Now, I want to talk about SBC fodder too, because again, this entire promo so far is, you know, we do have cards in packs and these guys are moving around a little bit, but a lot of these cards prices are just continually dropping or, you know, fluctuating a little bit. Uh, Sané was 1.1 mil this morning. He's now 1.01. You know, Vardy is very rare and he fluctuates. Hermoso dropped a little bit today with Mangala being out. Perisic continues to be sky high. So I think, and we're really looking at these cards potentially for a buy time on Thursday with rewards, but that almost might be the buy time with SBC fodder too, because everybody is focusing on SBC fodder. And I want to talk about it again today because look at these prices, man. They're down even more. People are selling the fodder they invested in on Friday during lightning rounds because all that overinvestment is causing these cards to not go up. We had a Vidal SBC again yesterday that was at 560K. He's now 519,000 coins to do because people have sold off their fodder and everything SBC fodder wise getting cheaper because people are now selling those investments because they're not going up and they don't have patience to wait for them to rise for when a big SBC comes out. So as SBCs come out uh, that don't require, you know, like an icon player pick or some sort of like repeatable upgrade pack that would be like, a, you know, a repeatable icon player pick or an icon player pick SBC, maybe like a repeatable 84 plus player pick would be something that would make this fodder go up. But at least right now, we don't have any big SBCs. I know we're getting a player SBC every single day, but... It almost seems to me like, you know, every single time a player SBC comes out, this fodder continues to drop lower because there just is not that much demand for it. And people are, the people are just spamming player picks right now, right? People are spamming player picks. They're crafting SBCs that way uh, and buying a few little pieces of fodder here and there. And they probably have a lot of it in their club after opening packs um, from full birthday being in packs on Friday and stuff like that. So you're seeing this fodder prices just continue to drop. You know, look at these guys, right? 89 rateds are down 61, 62K a piece. These guys were 67K on Friday, right? You got 87 to 36, 37,000 coins. 90 rated cards are down 5K a pop. They're down to 76K. Uh, De Bruyne is under 90,000 coins. So you have a lot of this fodder that's dropping. 86 is right, 27 to 28K. These guys have been upwards of, you know, 40,000 coins when the, the, the stuff is at its peak, right? You see Pogba's 40K and earlier in March, you know, after we came out of summer heat and we had the Icon SBCs that came out and the, the Messi and, and all that sort of stuff, then the party bags that came out as well. So I think you're really hoping for like a party bag. You're really hoping for a huge Icon upgrade SBC to come out to really make this fodder move. Now, if Royce comes out today or if the SBC that comes out today uh, if it is actually not Royce and the, and the leak's wrong or if EA changed the player, whatever SBC comes out today, as long as EA does not drop like an icon upgrade, uh, especially like a repeatable player pick or something that's going to make fodder absolutely fly, uh, I really think you're going to see fodder drop off a little bit more. And that takes us into weekend league rewards. Now, fodder always gets supplied at weekend league rewards, and this could be a fantastic time to get involved with some of those investments because you're going to be able to snag those cards when they're low already from people panic selling their investments because they expect the fodder to go lower at rewards and then it's going to get packed and go lower because people aren't saving their packs they're going to open this stuff with the full birthday cards 
that are out in packs right now. That could be a perfect storm for SBC bot fodder to be a great buy during rewards or if the, the sell off before rewards is too much, somewhere around that time frame, either right before right after rewards could be a great time to pick up on some of this fodder. I know we have lightning rounds coming on the weekend and stuff like that. Um, but if a Renato Sanchez SBC were to come out, that would be something that'd be pretty crazy as well. And that would cause some hype and people would probably even buy fodder again to go back into that. So I'm not saying to go unassigned. I never go on a sign of fodder. That's just not my thing. I, I like to trade, right? I like the market movements. I like to fluctuation trade. You see me watching icons. It looks like I just sold my, finally sold my um, vintage card that I've been keeping an eye on for a while. You know, some of these cards like Del Piero was at 114 today, and right now he's at 138. Really, really rare. You know, this Drogba was down at 1.6. He's still very low, but there's an open bid right there. Like, you can get a lot. There's a lot of fluctuations on some of these icons. That's kind of where I'm enjoying trading at the moment is some of these icon cards, some of the out-of-pack specials like the Reynas, you know, like the you know, cards that get panic sold like this Renato Sanchez. Do I think that this Renato, who I just cleared from my search uh, right there, do I think this Renato is going to stay down um, until his um, SBC is, you know, here on Saturday? Potentially, yes. But like, look how rare this card is. I could almost buy the one at 406 right there to 430,000 coins. There are only, you know, there's one page to up to 430k where I'm searching right now. So if I saw some Renato Sanchez down at like 400k or just a smidge under, maybe I could snatch one on bid. You know, there is going to be the rumors of these leaks flying around, but these guards are going to continue to fluctuate. And let me show you this guy's graph again, because even without the leaks actually coming, I'm pretty sure there were like no leaks before 6 p.m. today about Renato Sanchez. Maybe there were the beginnings, beginnings of some, but take a look at this. He went from 490 down to 419, then bounced to 480K. Then the leaks came out and he dropped all the way down to 400K. So there's fluctuations on cards like this all the time. I mean, even like, um, like Lautaro Freeze. This card is in high demand right now because of the uh, Vidal SBC. What happened yesterday, right? He was at 240, he went to 300, down to 247, back up to 280, and now he's slowly back rising up to 300,000 coins. So just watch for cards. Since the market right now, there's not a lot of people actually on it and trading and trying to make coins. It just creates an absolutely incredible opportunity to trend trade cards, to buy low, sell on the high on a fluctuation. I mean, De Bruyne is 700,000 coins right now. That's up, right? I'm pretty sure this guy was like 650 earlier today. Uh, and this is just a very rare card that's gonna fluctuate naturally on the market. 623 yesterday on Tuesday. 620, 620K, he was just 660. And now all of a sudden he gets very rare at nighttime, up to 700,000 coins. That's just one example of tons of cards on this game that are gonna continue to fluctuate. Richarlison at 619, excuse me. I'm pretty sure he was exactly 640, 650 earlier today. Uh, you know, if I could buy this, yeah, he was like six. If I could buy this at like 600K flat, you know, I know that I could probably sell it somewhere in the, you know, 640 to 650K range and make myself a nice little bit of profit, right? Maybe on Xbox, you get him down at 499. You could sell it right now at 540 or 550. So that's the kind of fluctuations that you can see in this market right now. It's being overlooked. Honestly, I'll say it's being overlooked because everybody is focused on, you know, what is going on with the foot birthday cards and stuff like that. Now, also for these foot birthdays, I think that they're probably going to be a buy somewhere around rewards time as well. When the when the supply comes in from these cards getting packed again, we haven't had a tradable pack supply SBC in a couple days now. Uh, and these cards just keep dropping lower. They, they really do, except for Perisic. He's like the only exception. A lot of these cards just keep dropping little by little um, because I just don't think there's that much hype for them. There's a little bit of hype, not that much. Um, and, you know, maybe some of these guys will rebound a bit after rewards because people would want to try them out for their teams and stuff like that. But again, the sole focus right now in this game are those SBCs on the front page and crafting those, getting those into your team. So the link investments and the panic selling that happens because of those is a very, very interesting place to be and to watch for on this market right now. Tiago is another one like this guy. He's still kind of hyped up. People are trying him out, but you know, he was like 560 earlier today. Right now he's down to 530,000 coins. You know, if this is down to 500K in the morning when I wake up, you know, there might there might be a potential where he rises up into the day on Wednesday. So right now, honestly, it's just flipping fluctuations on the high rated cards, uh, watching SBC fodder kind of creep down lower in price uh, because 
everybody is selling their investments in SBC fodder because it's not going up. And um, just kind of trying to figure out what these SBCs are going to be. Now, of course, EA could shake things up today if they did decide to release some sort of icon um, upgrade SBC. And if they did that, then that would cause a lot of things to go lower. Uh, and that would obviously be a big thing for the market. But today on Wednesday, I'm honestly not expecting that hype of a day because yes, uh, it is a new team of the week day, but this is going to be an international break team of the week. Uh, so it's going to be kind of all over the place. We're not really sure what we're going to get from these games. This is the foot bin prediction. We've got Neuer, Jordi Alba with another inform, um, Sushek, Usman Dembele potentially with another inform today, a left mid Alfonso Davies, a right wing of Bamiyang. So the only bad thing is usually they don't have dynamic images when they have international break. Uh, so EA doesn't have the rights for that or whatever. So that might be a bit of a problem and make this team of the week a little bit less hyped. But we'll see if EA tries to juice it up at all today. And we'll see if there's some potential SBC fodder investments uh, available because of this new team of the week that will be coming out. But that's kind of all we have to talk about again today, man, right? We're just continuing this grind of a birthday. Uh, a lot of you guys are probably grinding squad battles right now. That's kind of all there is to do. Uh, well, not just squad battles, but icon swaps, right? You're grinding your icon swaps. Maybe you're doing Huntalar or Samba Stars, and uh, and you're you're maybe doing some player pick packs. That's kind of what there is to do right now in FIFA. Um, whether you're playing some Rivals games or whether you're doing icon swaps or whether you're playing inside of one league, uh, whatever it may be, that's kind of where a lot of people are focused right now in the game. I've got some cards unassigned because I'm going to be waiting to see if Royce comes out today. Um, but again, link investments to a lot of these cards. Again, we just mentioned how the German and the Bundesliga leaks are still very hyped. Again, this new house card and a lot of the, the Bundesliga links, this guy was down at 160,000 coins earlier today, and he's fluctuated back up to 190. Watch the panic selling on some of these cards, especially in the Bundesliga, because they're rare. People are buying them uh, and stuff like that. Those cards move around a ton. So that's honestly my biggest my biggest thing for you guys would be on the bids, right? Look at this Del Piero, 1.14. I, I went away from my companion app after app adding a couple of these to my targets. And he this guy just gets rare at nighttime, and he's back up to 1.3. So potential huge flips right there. This drug bat 1.5. If I could snag this under, you know, 1.5 highs or 1.6 low, I'd be able to flip this probably in the 1.7 low range so uh you know some of these cards are just way down from where they were and it's just a couple hours of panic selling happen all at once and then boom you have potential to make some big time profit on a fluctuation um as these cards kind of rebound back up in price after the panic selling so that's kind of the video for today boys just a lot of the leaks that are going around i wanted to kind of share those with you again take those with just a hint all right just a hint right we're taking it with a hint of salt right they're not 100 percent guaranteed or true or going to happen um, that's, they've been right so far though. So that's why I wanted to talk about it today. I don't condone leaks. I'm not a fan of leaks, but it's something that we have to deal with. And if I don't talk about it, then I'm doing you guys a disservice, uh, as covering what's going on on the market and what is going on inside of this game of FIFA 21. So if you did enjoy the video today, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.